Hear the word of the Lord God's remnant people. My name is Gloria, and I come to share the word of God. Before we go into the word, let us pray. Father, we just want to tell you thank you. Thank you, God, for allowing us another chance to come into your presence. Oh, God, please forgive us of all of our sins. Lord, clean us up and make us vessels unto honor. Lord, so you can use us and get the glory out of our lives. Lord, help us, Lord, to continue to cry loud and spare not in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for loving us, Lord God, and not giving us what we really deserve. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus, for coming from heaven to this earth to be that sacrifice for our sins. And Lord, help us to never take him lightly. In Jesus' name, prepare us, God. Help us to be ready. Help us to stay ready. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today we'll be coming from Amos 8, verse 11 and 12. And it says, Behold, the days come, says the Lord God, that I will set a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. What is a famine? A famine is, is a shortage. A shortage of what? In this case, what we're talking about, it's a shortage of the word of God. It's starvation. It's to be starved to death. We're being starved of the word of God. Many are. Why? Because of sin. Because of disobedience. Many are not teaching and preaching the word of God. They're teaching and, and preaching their opinions. Not what the word of God is saying. If we get the word of God hidden in our hearts, if they ever take our Bibles away, if they ever take down social media, we got the word written on the tablets of our heart and it can never be taken away. If it be the Lord's will, I'll see you in the next video. Y'all have a blessed day.